Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five of my top tips for keeping my hair really healthy in the winter time. I struggle with my hair a lot in the winter. The weather is really harsh and the winter season is when I experience the most split ends, the most dryness, and the most static and frizz, which really drives me crazy. Today I'm going to show you some things that I like to do that just really help to keep my hair in line and help me to prevent extra split ends and breakage. Before we begin, I would really like to thank Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. I've really been trying to get better at accessorizing because I always end up wearing the same pieces of jewelry. So when Ana Luisa reached out to me to collaborate, um, I was really excited. Ana Luisa Jewelry is a 100% carbon neutral jewelry company. So they've managed to offset 100% of their carbon emissions starting from when they source their raw materials all the way until they send out the jewelry to you guys and to their customers. Their jewelry is also really fairly priced. They start around $39 and there's no luxury markup and the pieces are just beautiful. They also have a 365 day warranty so if you're not happy with any of your pieces for whatever reason you have the chance to replace or refund them. And they also only produce limited batches of each piece to reduce excessive waste and to ensure really high quality. And right now they're actually having the biggest sale of the year going from December 2nd to December 26, 2020. For the US only, they are doing a buy one, get one 40% off, and plus you'll get a free travel case with any order over $150. And for international shoppers only, they are doing a buy one, get one 40% off. I will have a link in my description box so you guys can go ahead and check out their holiday offers. I really think that a nice piece of jewelry is such a meaningful gift. You can get it for your mom, your partner, a friend, even a sibling. Um, I think it's just such a nice way to really personalize it for someone. And their jewelry is beautiful, like it's really easy to stack. And they also have really dainty pieces for someone like me who doesn't really like a lot of jewelry. I love like tiny little dainty pieces like this or even like these earrings that I got from them. So really quickly, I'm going to show you the pieces that I chose. First, I chose this really pretty little gold butterfly necklace. Um, I like it because it's super dainty and I don't have a lot of gold jewelry so I thought this would be perfect to add to my collection. My mom also loves butterflies so that is like why I chose it. I also got these really pretty sterling silver um, little huggy hoops and they're actually gold plated. I'm not really a fan of big dangly hoops or anything like that so I think these are really elegant and they just fit my style really perfectly. And then I also got this really beautiful little ball chain necklace and this one is in silver. I love really small dainty jewelry especially things like like this because I can wear them every day um, and I can also wear them out or you can even stack them if you want like if you like to wear long ne necklaces as well so thank you again to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video I will have the link in my description box so you guys can check out their limited time offers and let's just get into the video okay so in the winter time the air typically gets really dry especially where I live here in Canada and it gets super cold obviously so my first tip is to get a humidifier humidifiers are such a great investment not only for your hair but also for your skin I love humidifiers because they bring moisture back into the air so it helps to prevent dry skin, dry hair and it also just helps me from being super congested in the winter time. I find that it's easier for me to breathe throughout the night and the next day I don't feel congested or like my throat is dry or anything like that so I've just been really enjoying using my humidifier the past few weeks since it's gotten really cold. The one I have also has a feature where you can add essential oils to it so that it also acts as like an essential oil diffuser. I personally don't use that feature very much though because my pets like to be in my room a lot and essential oils can be harmful to animals so just be aware of that if you have pets but I'll try to find mine and link it down below so you guys can check it out. I actually really love it. Um, it's really small and it just looks nice in my room as well and I just love it so I'll link it down below if I can find it for you. My next tip is to be consistent with hydrating your hair and there are many ways that you can do this. You can do this through deep conditioning treatments, you can do this with your shampoo and conditioner. My favorite way to do this is to rehydrate my hair every day by using a really hydrating lightweight leave-in conditioner. My favorite one right now for the winter is the Kalia Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner and I like to spray it on my ends and length even on dry hair on a daily basis. This just helps to add hydration back into my hair and also helps to detangle and defrizz my hair. And then it's really important that you seal in that hydration. So I like to follow up with a little bit of oil just to lock in all the hydration and keep my hair nice and frizz free. The oil also helps to keep your ends nourished and protected from breakage. So the combination of the two have just been really working for me this winter. And being consistent with it has really made a difference for me as well because I usually suffer with really bad tangles in the winter time. You guys can use whatever works best for 
with your hair type for example my boyfriend has curlier hair so when he refreshes his hair he'll wet it first like with some water from the sink and then he'll reapply some of his curly products so like his curl milk and um, a little bit of the styling cream after and wetting it just helps to reactivate the product that he already put in it the day before and adding just a little bit more if he needs to just helps to reseal in all that hydration and keep his curls looking defined and shiny as well so whichever way works for you rehydrating your hair in between washes is such a helpful tip and it's something that I would recommend to everybody. My third tip is to wear protective styles as often as possible, especially if you're someone who goes outside a lot during the winter time. I personally like to throw my hair into protective style immediately after rehydrating and detangling. So something like this style that I'm wearing today is just really simple. It took me like one minute to throw it up into a Nautilus bun um, and I can accessorize it differently every day with different hair sticks. Braids are also a really good option as well. And if your hair is too short to wear in protective styles, that's totally okay. Okay. but if you're someone who likes to wear a lot of beanies and stuff I would really um, recommend looking into like satin lined hats and beanies they really help to protect your hair from frizz and breakage and prevent a lot of that unnecessary friction from just regular like knit fabric on your hair and if your hair is too short for protective styles as well sleeping with a uh, satin or silk pillowcase at nighttime can really just help to protect your hair while you're lying down um, and prevent unnecessary frizz and breakage as well. So my next tip is to be really consistent with masks and treatments. And I know I always say this in the growth challenges and stuff, but it honestly made such a difference for me when I first started my hair journey. You can use whatever type of hair mask you want. It can be a DIY, it can be a store-bought mask. You can alternate between masks if you want, like I do. It's really up to you. But consistently using a hair mask, like maybe once a week or once every other week, really just helps to rehydrate, re-nourish, and re-strengthen your hair. And this is really important in the winter time because your hair is facing all kinds of harsh weather conditions um, especially the cold dry air it can be really damaging to the hair and finally the last tip I have is probably really obvious but it's something that I've done a lot and I'm really guilty of and it's do not go outside with wet hair um, not only is this not good for you because you can catch a cold um, it can also be really damaging to the hair like I said the really harsh wind and cold air is really drying on the hair and your hair is the most fragile when it's wet so if you're someone who likes to wash your hair during the day um, I really recommend just chilling at home until it dries or washing your hair the evening before so that the next day when it's time for you to go and do your thing it's already dry I know a lot of you will like to blow dry your hair in the winter and that's totally understandable but just be aware of how often you're washing your hair and having to blow dry it be aware of the heat settings on your blow dryer it does not need to be the full heat um, and if you are using full heat make sure that you invest in a good heat protectant i will link one in the description box that i like to use personally when i do use heat which it's really rare but when I do use heat I'll link the one that I use and that is it for today's video you guys I hope you find it helpful and let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other tips that you like to use for your winter hair care also again thank you so much to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video please don't forget to check out the link in the description box if you are interested in their 2020 holiday sales they run from December 2nd all the way until December 26th thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys would like to see next and I will see you in the next video Bye.